Hey everyone! I know you all have some t-shirts that you no longer wear anymore, so here are two different but similar ways to turn your old t-shirts into reusable bags without having to sew them. Doing this is not only super simple, but a clever craft to help everyone be environmentally friendly. If you're interested in learning how to recreate this, then just go ahead and keep on watching. These are the items you're going to need. Some scissors to cut your t-shirt with, a measuring tape or a ruler, and some old t-shirts. Keep in mind, the bigger the t-shirt, the larger the bag. These are some of my old t-shirts that I actually tie-dyed myself. Um, if you want to learn how to tie-dye your shirts, then just let me know in the comments below. Alright, so grab one of your t-shirts and with your scissors, cut off the bottom of the shirt using the seam as your guideline. Save this bottom piece you just cut off and set it aside for later. You'll see why in a bit. Now grab your measuring tape or ruler and measure about 4 to 6 inches from the bottom up. I'm going to measure 6 inches for mine. Cut the side of your shirt to the 6 inch mark creating a little slit. And go ahead and do the same for the opposite side of your shirt. Take your measuring tape and lay it flat from slit to slit. This is going to be used as your marker placement and to help with the next step. Now you're cutting about half inch wide strips 6 inches up. Continue this step until you reach the end. In doing so, we want to create a fringe like look for this bag. Once you've done so, pull on each strip to stretch out the cotton. This is going to make the fringe look a lot nicer. Okay, so now take each strip and tie the front strip with the strip directly behind it into a knot as you can see right here. Continue to do this until you've tied all the strips into a knot. You'll find that tying the strips together will bunch up the shirt, but don't fret. Just go ahead and tug on the shirt back into its boxy shape. Now you're done with the bottom part of your bag. How cute is that? Now you're going to want to essentially do the same thing with the sleeves. Cut off the end of the sleeve using the seam as your guideline again. Now like the bottom part of the shirt, cut slits on each side of the sleeve. Then cut half inch strips from the end of the sleeve up to the seam as you can see here. Now you're going to repeat the same steps pulling on each strip, then tying in each into a knot starting from the shortest strip to the longest. Once you've reached the last and longest strip, leave it as is. Don't tie this one into a knot just yet. You'll see why in a second. You can go ahead and pull on it if it bunches up. Now you're going to do the same exact thing with the other sleeve. And again, leaving the last and longest strip untied. This is how your bag looks so far. Almost done. Alright, so now we're going to cut the neckline off of the shirt using the seam as your guideline once again. Now, once you've cut this off, go ahead and pull on the neckline to stretch out the opening of your bag. Okay, remember the bottom part of the shirt that we cut off in the beginning? Go ahead and grab that and snip it. Take 
one end and string it through the shirt as you can see here. This is why we didn't tie that last strip into a knot just yet. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now you're going to tie the two ends together, pulling the knot so it's extra tight, and go ahead and maneuver the knot into the shirt so it's hidden. Now you can go ahead and tie these strips into a knot to hold the strap in place. And you just created the shoulder straps for your bag and now your bag is complete. Alright, on to the next one. Grab another old t-shirt. This one is going to have the same style but instead of a shoulder bag, we are going to make it into a handbag. So go ahead and cut the bottom of your shirt using the seam as a guideline. You can go ahead and throw this bottom piece away since we're not going to use it anymore. Do the same exact steps as we did before since the bottoms of these bags are going to share the same style. So cut the ships, pull on them, and then tie each one into a knot. Okay. Now the bottom of your bag is complete. You can either leave this one bunched up like it is or stretch it out like we did to the last one. Again, cut the neckline off of the shirt. For this bag, we're actually gonna cut off the sleeves following the seam line that I'm showing you. Do the same thing on the other side. Doing this replicates a tank top, but cutting off these sleeves allows us to create a handle for our bag. And this bag is now done. So simple. You can use these bags as anything you'd like. I use mine as reusable grocery bags. Even though summer is now officially over, this past week where I live, it's been extremely hot. So I went to the grocery store and stocked up on popsicles. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more DIY and how-to videos. Till next time, guys. Enjoy!